14. Beautiful wintry day in Colorado, but this cold wintry blast may be causing a, a bit of a mess on the roadway. So Greg is tracking that winter weather moving in. And actually, let's head on over to Greg. Yeah, so good day, right? That's the name of the show. Good people and some good dogs this morning. Look at the good boy or girl there. We work with the Dumb Friends League. You guys all know that at home. We help animals try and find forever homes. But there's another local group uh, that focuses on these guys and gals that we have laying on the floor right now. Uh, they are golden retrievers, of course. You can see in the video, it's an unmistakable breed. And what the golden retriever rescue of the Rockies discovered is that there's an even more desperate situation for dogs halfway around the globe uh, out in Istanbul, Turkey. Hundreds of goldens, they actually roam the streets out there, brutal temperatures in Turkey, and of course, hostile living conditions as well. So, local volunteers, they decided to travel all, around, all the way around the world to bring back these animals, clean them up, get them healthy and find them loving homes here in Denver. And they just got back from their third trip from Turkey, and this is what you've brought. Uh, welcome, Kevin and Carolyn. You. you guys are from uh, the Golden Retriever Rescue of the Rockies. And mm -hmm. what can you tell me about these two very tired dogs? First of all, <laughs> why are they tired? <laughs> well, they got, <laughs> probably got jet lag still yeah. after the 12-hour flight night before last. Um, Peace, a uh, little boy, um, he was a one-year-old, and he had been living in the forest before going to one of the shelters there. And Mary, and you notice they all have holiday names. Yes. And Mary is a two-year-old, and mm -hmm. Mary was very, very malnourished and spent two months in a uh, vet hospital recuperating over in Istanbul before uh, joining the group to come on over. So we brought over 18. 18 dogs, and uh, you told me here that they uh, they made the travel over. They've got all their documentation, right? Yeah, <laughs> They're allowed they, it. Yeah, they <laughs> spayed, neutered, uh, health certificates, and little doggy passports. Little doggy passports, and uh, now they are, of course, a little jet lagged. And I was just petting them before the break. They they smell wonderful. Did you guys give them the spa treatment? Yes, they just for this. They got their spa day a day early. They got Good. it yesterday. So why are there so many strays out in Istanbul? <laughs> Oh, you chewing on your necklace? Oh, there you go. So why why are there so many strays out there in Istanbul? Well, um, there, Istanbul has a 50,000 dog stray dog population problem to begin with. Oh, wow. Uh, golden retrievers in particular were a status symbol at one point in time. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, like in any supply and demand sort of thing, um, puppy mills sprouted up. People started bringing in dogs from uh, Europe. Uh, and as soon as the supply uh, went up and the cost went down, they were no longer a status symbol and they got released into the forests and the streets because the shelters are packed. And they just let them go. So they're kind of roaming around everywhere. And uh, now, is there a lot of demand for these? Do you have like a waiting list for them? Or how do, how do I get a hold do. of one? It's, you're a great straight man. Uh, we <laughs> have, there's 98 golden retriever rescues in the U.S. All of us have a waiting list. Okay. Uh, and so. Um, W this is our third trip with these guys, and we got another one planned for Valentine's Day, actually. Okay. So, um, so these will be available after the 20th. So how many, uh, how many do you bring back a, tr a trip usually? Uh, 18. 18. Okay, 18 dogs a trip, and uh, <laughs> this one is just loving the collar. Uh, you, you, you brought a collar with you now uh, right there. Uh, what is on there? You are saying something special is on there earlier for their trip. Do you got it? Evil Eye Beads from yep. Turkey. So. Yeah, this little guy right here, and they come in blue and red. Okay. But the dot in the center of them. Yeah, get a close up of that. It's called cool. the Nazar, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, otherwise known as the Evil Eye, and it's to ward off evil. Okay. And to wish them good luck. So all the dogs that come over have a string of these beads on them, and our friends over in Istanbul added a little uh, holiday special to the uh, to the necklace this time around. Oh, so how how do I get a hold of one of these dogs? Uh, what's the easiest way to do it? Uh, the best way to contact us, since we're by appointment only, mm -hmm. is goldenrescue.com. Okay. And if you go to goldenrescue.com, uh, everything from our uh, adoption process, adoption application, volunteer <laughs> application, any of that is all online. Uh, and that will answer 99% of the questions anybody will have. And, uh, yeah, one of those questions that, that I had earlier was they, they go through behavioral stuff, make sure they're good with people and all that. So they're all, they're right. all good to go, right? Right, right. We, we are very fortunate. We've got a five-acre facility with indoor-outdoor <laughs> kennels, 250 volunteers. I feel um, like, uh, by the way, I feel like anybody who has a dog knows this struggle <laughs> where you're like, oh, you were so good just moments ago. Sure. <laughs> it, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, it's all good. Yeah. Uh, so you can find more information about this <laughs> on the Good Day section of our website, kdvr.com, and uh, we'll have send it on over to uh, you guys back at the desk, and we'll play a little fetch with you. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. One of them.